there is a lot of talk on pheno. I don't know how many of you are coming across. If you send a patient to the pulmonologist or chest specialist, they are doing it nowadays. Uh, it's a it's a uh, available test, not too expensive uh, either, and it is usually we use to diagnose this allergic or eosinophilic asthma, and it is about pheno means fraction of excel nitro nitric oxide test. So why we need that, that when there is an inflammatory cells in the airway and they breathe out, they breathe out this endogenous nitric oxide, which we measure with a machine where it is a portable machine where patient is allowed to blow very slowly and gently, not like in spirometry or that kind of thing. It's not forced expiratory volume. It's just gently patient has been asked to blow on that machine and there is a level we check. So accordingly, we can uh, understand that whether this patient needs what kind of treatment. So this pheno is helping us in a lot of way. It is number one, it is helping us to establish the etiology, whether it's, as I have said, it is an allergic, condition or a non-allergic condition, what type of eosinophilic asthma it is, and how bad it is, whether it will respond to ICS, whether we need to change the dose of ICS, whether we need to evaluate that whether patient is taking compliant to the use of ICS or using them. Nowadays, people, they say I'm using, but maybe they're not using it properly. So by doing this phenotest, test, you will get all this. Answer. So it is really a, a very useful test to find out that. Now, next session, I will uh, discuss on asthma. Maybe we will talk about pheno a bit more on this. But there is a uh, there is no Indian guideline I can see on Feno, but there is we follow either BTS guideline or American ATS guideline. So there uh, just uh, there is a bit of difference in there that Feno is less than twenty five here and twenty in children. But when it is coming to moderate thing, 25 to 50 for Americans and 25 to 39 for BTS, there is minor difference. But what with this record, what did this number implicate? That is very important. If the number is low, less than 25 say, unlikely this patient will benefit from ICS, inhaled corticosteroid. And you know, eosinophilic airway inflammation is unlikely, so think about alternative diagnosis. But say the reading is more than 50, you can be sure that this patient will definitely benefit from inhaled corticosteroid. And there are some patients who are lying in the middle. So when you are assessing these patients, you have to be a bit careful, you have to assess them time to time and monitor their change in, in behavior. And accordingly, you can decide that whether they need more ICS, less ICS, and going to something else or not. So the decision of inhaled corticosteroid is very important in chronic cough because people also say, I'm not having a wheeze doctor. I'm not having an asthma doctor. Maybe spirometry, they cannot perform well and that's why you are not sure how to deal with this group of patients. So this test will help you to come to a diagnosis and also help you in the management.